Hey guys, Odin Boat on BI here, and today I got something special for you. If you haven't seen this before, this is quite a treat. This is actually the old Mauser broom handle. And unless you're a history buff, you might not recognize what's going on here, but this is actually a gun within its stock, which is also its case. Just like that. Pretty neat gun, so let's take a closer look at it. To start off with, I'm going to show you what was going on with the holster. So it's actually a wooden holster there, and the gun actually just slides right inside there. And it's got the lock there. Quite fine craftsmanship. You just push the lock, and there you go. A little bit of history on it is Mauser invented this gun in the late 1800s, 1895 to be exact. And this gun was chambered in 7.63 or 30 Mauser and it was quite the cartridge. It was actually the fastest cartridge out there until the invention of the 357 Magnum in 1935. And there's the cartridge there. For collectors this is a really difficult firearm to value because of all the different variations and they weren't well tracked because they were happening so frequently. So you'll see the different versions of the Mauser and you'll see different areas of the frame here milled out. This one in particular has like a little square there and this area here and that sort of thing. Other variations include where the uh, where the Mauser roll mark is. You can see it in uh, different patterns, ones with a banner and that sort of thing. They change the colors of the of the grips. Uh, they change the calibers. There's a nine millimeter version of this called the Red Nine, which actually has a red nine in the in the grip, and also some other variations where the the internal box magazine. This one, for example, has a ten round box magazine, and some of the other ones have six rounds or twenty rounds. The twenty round box magazine was usually reserved for the fully automatic version. Also a pretty cool gun, but one that I'm, I'm not able to get my hands on. And uh, in case you're wondering, that little insert for the grip back there is actually for a stock. Where's the stock? Well, let's try this. Just slides right in there in the insert. And there you go. You've got yourself a carbine. Pretty cool gun, pretty versatile, and extremely well made. The craftsmanship on this one is quite fine. So enough talking, and I'm going to show you how to shoot this. Okay, so now it's time to shoot this thing. One of the one of the things that's apparent as soon as you put the put the carry case and stock on is ergonomics was not a big thing in the late 1800s. But still, it's a pretty nostalgic, pretty cool relic of a gun. And uh, now I'm going to take it for a quick shoot and see how it does. I haven't shot it before, so it should be interesting. Uh, what you do to load this is there's a stripper clip here. And there's actually a notch that it slides into. just fits in just like so. And to load it, you actually squeeze the rounds down into the gun. That last one's biting me a little bit. Okay, so from this point here, I take the stripper clip out and this charging handle slides forward, now it's ready to shoot. If I didn't want to shoot right away, I can always flip that safety up right there and flip it down into the fire position. One of the things I got to do is I got to actually keep my thumb lower than I would otherwise because uh, every time it shoots, the hammer's going to come back and nail me right in the thumb otherwise. So, like I said, ergonomics, not a big thing in the late 1800s. apparent right away is uh, the recoil. It recoils completely differently from anything else that I've shot. Okay, and just like modern, modern day semi-automatics, this one actually has the charging handle stay back on the last round, as you can see there and the internal follower keeps it open just like modern day semi-autos. And if you wanted to shoot it with, uh, without the stock, I just push this little button here, gently slide out that stock, and we can reload. So I'm going to use this stripper clip again here. And this stripper clip is pretty similar to any other stripper clip you'd see, such as with, uh, with an SKS or a uh, VZ58, that sort of thing. 
And again, I'm going to put it right in that little guide there and just pop the rounds in. Uh, if I wanted it to stay open, I can just pull this charging handle back a little bit more and it will actually stay open for me. So that way I can actually manually push it forward and load it. So it's shoot it in a pistol configuration. Round and it's open. Pretty cool gun, quite a piece of history. Guns are not made like this anymore. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Pretty cool gun. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching.